what's up people it's og right here and it's good to have you all right so you guys know that a lot has been going on in pdp with wiki ayo atiku abubaka and the rest of them all right so the river state governor nyesom wiki has said that the sins of the national chairman of the people's democratic party pdp professor yochia ayu we are so grievous that if they were disclosed to his children that they would disown him <laughs> okay guys according to wiki this is what he said quote and unquote if people know what we know if we release what we have i use children will go to him and say we are no longer your children so while he was speaking during a live media chat in portacourt he said that ayu had no local standing to stand before nigerians and campaign for the pdp ahead of 2023 general election he said that the pdp national chairman had no integrity alleging that the chairman also received double pay for a single project he also added and said quote and unquote what kind of system is that I am telling you all these are facts. Let him I you say no face and I will tell him from who he collected the money from. A leader must be a man of integrity and I have realized that people find it hard to have that integrity lately. You are presenting a man are you who lacked integrity as chairman of the party. Somebody that wants to lead a campaign to take the reins of the government <laughs> he also said what is the problem the problem is that we are asking are you we are saying let there be equity let there be fairness and justice but if you don't want it that way then you are the one causing the crisis in the party and that shows that you are you don't have leadership skill because this is the time to show it this is the time to show leadership skills on the part of those who are leaders of the party <laughs> okay guys you know that a lot of things are happening in this party and really wiki is blowing them really really hot sometimes i wonder is this guy in the same party with these people the way he comes after them the way he say things Oh well, I appreciate that because they are really giving us a lot to hold on in not trusting them to lead this country. Like if you're going to rule this country, you all these things, it's so alarming. You are telling us that you are not reliable, you and your party, we cannot entrust Nigeria in your hands. So how then do you expect us to vote you into that presidential seat? All right, so meanwhile, the Board of Trustees of the People's Democratic Party has asked Ayu to resign after the 2023 election. It also charged the chairman of the PDP Governors Forum, Sokoto State Governor Aminu Waziru Tambowa, to convey an emergency meeting of the forum. You see, that's the thing with them. They always meet, 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 cancel here, cancel this, uh, committee this, committee that, and at the end of the day, they will come out with nothing that is just it well all i have to say is that this party should sort themselves out and do what they are supposed to do but we know that we do not want to rely on the pdp system of government in nigeria anymore not anymore all right so the chairman of the board of trustees and former president of the senate adolfo swabara who also read the communique at the end of the the board meeting in abuja also appealed to all party leaders to match their words with their actions <laughs> so many so many things are happening in this party guys a lot meanwhile responding to wicked's allegation are you said he never collected one billion naira or any money from anybody as claimed by the river state governor he said the party statement of account was intact and would be made available to the party members at the end of the year and also appealed to all aggrieved members of the party to leave his family out of the whole thing okay so according to him this is what he said quote and unquote i decided not to respond not to encourage disagreements in the party however i want to make it clear that at no time did i as the national chairman of the party collect any one billion naira from anybody 
when we came in and the party has funding difficulties, the presidential candidate suggested that we should take a loan from the bank and the owner of that bank is a member of the party. He also added that the party never took any loan from anybody. Any money advanced to the party was declared before the NWC and handed over to the national treasurer. All our accounts are up to date and we promised to publish the accounts at the end of the year. I or the NWC have never taken any money to carry out that renovation. We have not even exhausted the one billion naira by one of the governors. Despite the consistent attack on my person since the end of the convention on the 31st of May, I have refrained from reacting as the father of the party and I felt I should encourage reconciliation. But where it touches on the integrity of my family or myself, members are brought into play. I appeal to such people to desist from trying to malign my character or bringing my family into the party affairs <laughs> guys this has become a different ball games is now exceeding <laughs> what the party can handle i am telling you okay there's so much accusations so much deniers we don't know what is what we don't know who is speaking the truth all we know is that we are here watching them and yes we will be watching to see how the whole thing unfolds but if this party are going to continue this way i'm sure so many people will lose trust on them like you cannot account for something that is being done within your party so how can you account for nigeria all right guys so this is how i'll be wrapping up the video please do leave a comment and tell me what you think in the comment section and be sure to subscribe see you in the next video Ciao.